On Sunday, she simply said that she didn't remember anything. I don't know if it's true or if she was just pretending not to remember. But this has left me reconsidering our relationship. Her last serious relationship was four months ago, before she started being with me. Welcome to the Hullet Halls of Magic's Monologue. I'm Magic, your curator of personal growth and the sage keeper to the keys to today's tome of wisdom and knowledge. Today's video, would I be the a-hole if I break up with my girlfriend because I found out she cheated on all her previous boyfriends. But before embarking on an expedition to knowledge, I thank you for the thumbs up you've given me, the subscribe, and the smacking of the bell to be instantly notified of new videos. In this video, you can see this is a naive, nice guy who's not learned about human nature and especially female nature. This is a good video to learn from as it falls clearly and demonstrates why you must always be looking for red flags. Let's begin today's lesson. I'm a 23 year old man who has been in a relationship with my girlfriend, also 23, for six months. Our relationship has its ups and downs and the topic of our past hasn't mattered much to us, at least until now. Slap to the back of the head. You should always care about her past. Pay attention and look for discrepancies in her stories. Women care about a man's future and his potential as a provider and what kind of lifestyle he can offer her. We men, however, care about a woman's past. We want to know, does she have a clean title? How many accidents and damage has she suffered? Or has this model been to the body shop and had its odometer rolled back? Generally speaking, what is important to a woman is security. What is important to a man? Loyalty. This Saturday, she stayed at my house and we were drinking. We got drunk and she started talking about her past relationships. The body count issue doesn't interest me because I always had casual relationships, but she had told me that before me, she had four serious relationships in which she cheated on all four partners. Slap to the back of the head. Um, Dude, as a rule, women only count their serious relationships. They don't count the guy they spread for on girls' night out or the guy that she met at some beach party. Are there exceptions to this? Sure, and I'm not talking about those women. I'm referring to the one who personifies the rule Whatever a woman tells you is her body count, multiply by three. Immediately afterward, she said that it was different with me because she has already matured and wants to stay with me forever, along with similar statements. Right, and if any of you guys believe that, you're a dumbass and I have a bridge in London I want to sell you. Relevant past behavior is a reasonable indicator of future relevant behavior. Otherwise known as in the contexts that I'm speaking, once a cheater, always a cheater. Immediately afterward, she said that it was different with me because she has already matured and wants to stay with me forever, along with other similar statements. We talked a little more 
and she stayed the night. On Sunday, she remained with me, and today she went to work from my place. I work from home, but I kept thinking about our conversation. Uh, as you should. Hello, 40-foot waving red flag on the plate here. On Sunday, she simply said that she didn't remember anything. I don't know if it's true or she was just pretending not to remember, but this has left me reconsidering our relationship. Slap to the back of the head. Hello? You're being gaslighted here. Of course, she remembers. She's in damage control mode. Dude, you are not advanced enough to play with this one. At best, she is a good for recreation kind of girl. Then only by a guy who's experienced enough at snake charming and snake handling. To quote the 11th doctor. Run. Her last serious relationship was four months ago, before she started being with me. I don't think that in four months she's matured. I wanted to bring up this topic to talk about Sunday, but she immediately said she doesn't remember anything and that it hurt her head to think about it. Wow, see how much progress she's made in her ability to take accountability for her choices? I'm overwhelmed with her progress. This has left me wondering if the best thing is to continue or end the relationship. She was quite jealous of me at the beginning, but now she's much calmer, and at least since she comes over regularly. Yes, because she knows she has no competition, and you have no other options. That is why she's no longer jealous. However, the fact that she doesn't want to talk about it makes me doubt. I don't want to be the fifth guy she cheats on, and I also don't like that she doesn't want to discuss it. She knows very well that infidelity is a deal breaker for me. Then why are you still with her, dummy? I was thinking of telling her that if we don't talk about it, we'll break up. But I don't know how aggressive that may sound. I was considering ending the relationship once and for all, but it would be wrong to do so? Um, guy, this woman spotted you a mile away as an easy mark. She is in the early stages of manipulating you. We have gaslighting, then monopolizing you so much of your time, she's effectively isolating you. You are the nice guy women like this prey on. No, you're not wrong. Kick this cheating 304 to the curb and drive on down the road fast. Do not pass go. Do not buy her tears, her stories, and her lies. And do not let her back into your life. In the comment section below, give your thoughts and support to this brother. He needs it. If you are the 73.9% of men who found value in this video, and the 26.1% of women, please show it by doing three things. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell, and share this with at least three friends who need to learn from my channel. Send me your personal relationship stories to share, or if you see an article online you think I should cover, send the link to stories at magicsmonologue.com. If you have a moment, stop by my YouTube community tab and vote on my surveys or subscribe to my locals, Rumble, Twitter, Getter, or Gab. Through this, you are leading by example, encouraging other men to rise higher 
and ensuring you live a life of passion, purpose, and prosperity. If you can't wait for my next new video, then click on one of these right now and watch another. Until next time.